Hello, my name is Elaine Klein. My university ID number is 6690156, and I am applying for the MFA acting program. For my first piece, I will be performing Adriana from William Shakespeare's The Comedy of Errors. Hi, I, Antipholus, looks strange and frown. Some other mistress hath thy sweet aspects. I am not Adriana, nor thy wife. How dearly would it touch thee to the quick, shouldst thou but hear that I were licentious. And that this body, consecrate to thee, should by ruffian lust be contaminate. Wouldst thou not spit at me, and spurn at me, and hurl the name of husband in my face, and from my false hand cut the wedding ring, and break it with a deep divorcing vow? I know thou canst, and therefore, see thou do it. I am possessed with an adulterate blot. My blood is mingled with the crime of lust, for if we two be one, and thou play false, I do digest the poison of thy flesh, being strumpeted by thy contagion. Keep then, fair league, and truce from thy true bed. I live unstained. Thou, undishonored. For my second piece, I will be performing Michelle's monologue from Jennifer Maisel's The Last Seder. Oh, um, excuse me. Hi. Look, I know you don't know me, but you look like someone who might, might be open to a complete stranger asking you, not some psycho chick in case you're thinking I am, which I am sure you are. Oh, uh, here. My license, so you know I'm me. Um, library card, museum membership, prescription card, so uh, at least you know I'm a semi-cultured, literate, insured psycho, I guess. Thank you for not running away. It's just that for months I've known this was coming. Every day some relative calls to confirm whether I'm bringing flourless chocolate cake this year to Seder. With my family Passover's a big hullabaloo, not so much in a do everything according to the rules sense, but more in a digging horribly and obsessively into every detail of your life between appetizers and dessert sense. But they're really not calling to ask me what I'm bringing, but who I'm bringing. And I couldn't put up with hearing Aunt Mabel say, So Michelle, why don't you have a man yet? In a frog voice. Again, I'm tired of making excuses and I'm tired of sympathetic, I've got a friend, and this. This is the last year, so it becomes important in a way I can't even explain. And so I'm walking up to you, and you must think I'm crazy. And I know you don't know me, but you were wearing a nice suit, and you looked somehow right. And that's a step in the right direction, anyhow. Do you like matzah? I will now perform a movement piece titled Fighting OCD. Did you remember to turn off the oven last night? Because I don't think you did. Hey, do you remember that embarrassing thing you did in the th <sighs> What if someone robs the house while we're gone? What are we gonna do if someone robs the house and we're not here? Maybe it's better if we stay home. You know, a lot of horrible things happen, and if we stay home, we'll be safe and sound, and nothing will happen, and everything will be fine, because you know the world is a horrible- No, 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 don't you dare, don't you dare do that, 